Divi 5 got two awesome tools to make your website's content shine with dynamic eye-catching feeds. Number one is our trusty blog module and number two, the super flexible loop builder. Now both can display your post in style, but they both are built for different vibes. And in this video, we are going to break down blog module versus Divi 5 loop builder, showing you how they work, when to use each one and why loop builders customization power might steal the show. So whether you are building a blog or an e-commerce website or a complete portfolio, we are going to help you pick the perfect tool to streamline your workflow. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DV Visual Builder. Now, if you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post. I'm sure you will find it really helpful. Now, before we get rolling, let's clear up few terms for anyone new in the game. First, let's talk about custom post types. Now, a custom post type or CPT is like a regular post, but tailored for specific content like your product or maybe your courses. Then custom fields, a field you add to post pages or your CPT. For example, for a food menu might include custom post types like price, rating, allergy declaration and spiciness levels. Then comes repeater field a field that stores a list of items inside individual posts. Think of sublists that might be valid for common pieces of content. Now the most popular plugins for these kind of custom post types or custom fields is ACF or you can choose Pods or Metabox or ACPT or Toolset plugin. Now with that out of the way, let's try to keep things simple and jump into the action. First up, the blog module. This is Divi's go-to for quick classic blog feeds. It's built for standard post patterns like title, feature, images, excerpt, metadata such as author, date and all. So you just drop it on your page, toggle what you want to show and hide and boom, your feed is live without any fancy setup. Now if you need to hide author but keep dates, it's easy. Want images but skip excerpt, it's easy again. The blog module's toggle system makes it painless to whip up a feed that looks clean and familiar, perfect for new sites or simple portfolio. Now the blog module doesn't stop at regular posts. It can handle custom post types as well, as long as they stick to the standard fields. For example, a team member custom post type with a name as the title, headshot as the feature image and bio as the content is going to work like a charm. But if you need custom fields like social link certification, then blog module might hit a wall. It's not built for that. Layout wise, it a bit rigid too. You are stuck with fixed structure and rearranging elements like title images requires little custom CSS. For straightforward, no fuss feed, it's winner. But for creative layouts, you need little more. And that's where Divi5's loop binder come in picture. A powerhouse for custom dynamic content. Now, unlike blog module fix setup, loop builder let you design your feed from scratch using any Divi module. It's like a blank canvas where you decide the layout content and style. If you need a unique card design with custom fields, loop builder got you covered. It's perfect for when you want total control over how your content looks, whether it's for e-commerce, real estate or complex portfolios. Well, it's not a single module, but it's a container that repeats your custom design for each matching post. Inside that, you can add images, heading, text, button module and bind them together to create dynamic content. You can point the images to feature images, headings to title of the post, buttons to post URL. It's super intuitive in Divi's UI. This modular setup lets you place images above or beside titles, add multiple custom fields and create any layout you dream up, all without being into preset structure. Now let's make it real with some examples. For standard blog, use Loop Builder to create a custom card. 
with title, category, publish date, and feature image arranged in a unique layout. Now you can swap this for a real estate listing. Use the same card design but map the heading to maybe property title, text module to bedrooms, bathrooms and description and the button may be linking to the actual page listing. And with plugins like ACF or Pod, you can pull the custom fields effortlessly. Loop Builder's flexibility means you can adapt the same design for any custom post type keeping your site fresh and tailored. Now here is where Loop Builder teams up with Divi5's Flexbox for next level layouts. Start by styling the outer loop container, enable flex and set layout direction to row. Turn on wrap for multiple rows and adjust gap for perfect spacing. Then tweak the inner layout. Select the column or group module inside the loop, set flex direction to row for side by side elements and adjust sizing like making the image take half the space and letting text fill the rest. You can create responsive, polished grids or unique layouts without touching a line of CSS, giving your feed a pro level edge. So blog module or loop builder, it's all about picking the right fit for your project. Let's break it down. So when you should use the blog module, you can go ahead and reach for the blog module when you need a quick standard feed with titles, images, excerpts and basic metadata. It's perfect for news sites, maybe company blogs or creating simple portfolio pages where visitors expect classic look. You can set it up in minutes with toggles and it's reliable for non-technical users who want a no flush solution. Fewer options means less room for confusion, making it a go-to for straightforward projects. So when Loop Builder becomes essential? Well, Loop Builder shines when you need custom fields or layouts that break the mold. Think e-commerce product grids, real estate listings or educational sites with unique data like price, rating or course details. It's your pick for complex content relationships like mixing post types or using repeater fields. If you want a card design that's 100% your vision, Loop Builder's flexibility and integration with Divi modules make it a clear winner. Build your own blog module layout with Divi 5. Now here is the bottom line. The blog module is your fast track to standard feed while Loop Builder unlocks endless customization for unique dynamic layouts. Make sure you keep both in your toolkit and choose based on the project's need. Divi5's Loop Builder paired with Flexbox gives you the power to craft exactly what envision. No compromises on that. So ready to build some amazing looking feeds? Download Divi5 Public Alpha today and check out our blog post for more details about this topic and start creating content that wows your audience. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.